Well, about the only place in the world where beans will bring people together is Pequot Lakes. Our Anthony Scott has more on Beanhole Day. Beans were the topic of discussion today as part of the 80th Beanhole Day. It's a festival that's unique to Pequot Lakes. It is the only place that we know of that has a festival uh, where you bury beans in the ground in giant kettles. Beanhole Day is a two-day festival that first involves burying the beans, letting them cook overnight, and then serving them the day after. Something that started as a way to honor the local farmers. It started back in the 1930s as uh, one pot of beans, a very small pot, and it was done after the uh, fall harvest of the farmers, and it was the bankers and businessmen getting together to do a, a potluck of beans and everything else that was brought together for food as a thank, thanking the farmers for their harvest. Since then, it has blossomed into an event that has gathered worldwide attention with guests coming from Florida, California, and even Brazil. I'm actually living in LA. Came out, we rented a cabin up here and as a family and love beanhole days. Before the beans could be enjoyed, a king and queen had to be announced for their work in helping with this year's festival. The Central Bean Company has been donating the beans for many, many years, so we selected a person from Central Bean Company to do that. Uh, Lakes Gas donates the propane gas every year, so we selected a person from there. After the bean king and queen gave the beans their seal of approval, it was finally time for the public to try out the beans. The beans are the best they've ever been. They're delicious. Fantastic. Amazing beans. I, got, I think this is fit, I think. Many volunteers were needed to help prepare the beans. Businesses sponsored and gave each kettle a name. And it's a festival that the locals are happy to call their own. I think everyone who's from here has pride in, in, this, um, in this festival. And the people who come to visit love it too. Reporting from Pequot Lakes, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. The beans were free to try and Pequot Lakes has no plans to stop the 80-year-old tradition. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.